Welcome back. Farmers and gardeners throughout the region were forced to assess the damage from a mid-May freeze. Charlie and Sharon show us what you need to look out for on this week's In the Garden. Charlie, gardening just isn't easy. It's always <laughs> something. <laughs> Even in mid-May, there's always something. And we had yeah. that freeze, not a frost, a, a freeze. freeze that and got it, down to the mid-20s in some places. And it did do some damage. And it did a lot of damage because yeah. there are a lot of plants that already started leafing out and started flowering. And then that freeze came and it just made a mess. Yeah. <laughs> so we had all kinds of things happening here. Even things like grapes. You don't really think of grapes as being really frost. Um, sensitive but you can see that this one died back here but then some other areas it didn't die and that's kind of the nature of these freezes you know depending on where you are there'll be frost pockets where it'll get a lot of freeze and then up on a hillside it may not get much freezing right and even within a yard it's like that so plants like these grapes of course you could see it's got some new growth coming here so i'm not too concerned about okay but then there are berries like my strawberries no. and i didn't think of covering those and that was a mistake because they were flowering <laughs> and yeah. if you see your um, strawberry flower has a little black center or brown center that's not good yeah. <laughs> and that means it got frosted as opposed to the yellow center that they normally have so those might be a very reduced, if not no crop for me this year. Oh, some of the it happens to the best. It <laughs> happens to everyone. We covered a lot of stuff, but not that. Not that. Yeah. Uh, the blueberries did okay because I think they were kind of in between. They were either in the bud stage, which is a little hardier, or they actually formed their berries. You yeah. Know, it's usually when the flowers are open, it's a problem. But other things like hardy kiwi, hardy kiwi, not, <laughs> not so, so <laughs> much. <laughs> and my persimmons, all these died back. But if you see those buds that are forming along those stems after about a week or so, which has been, um, that means that they're probably going to come back. And most plants that are healthy are going to come back. Even things like the hydrangeas that got a little nipped on the top, they'll just outgrow that, that dead growth. So it's been hard, yeah. but we'll get over it. Okay. <laughs>